This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. In the last video, I had explained about the favorable Dasha and unfavorable Dasha for the native of Scorpio Ascendant and of course I explained about the functional malefics and benefics for the native of Scorpio Ascendant. I also gave an idea about the professions that the Scorpio Ascendants can choose to make living in their life. In this video I am going to explain about the effects of the planet in the house of Sagittarius. Well, you know my style of explaining the effects of the planets in a house. Before I explain the effects of a planet in a particular house, I always give a detailed description about the house. It is really important to learn about the house where the planet resides. I would like to address the characteristics of the sign, rather characteristics of Sagittarius Rashi or Sagittarius Ascendant because when I use the term house, it is a common term for both Rashi and Ascendant. Therefore, when I address the Sagittarius as a sign rather than Rashi and Ascendant, the concept that I describe applies for both Sagittarius Rashi and Sagittarius Ascendant. Of course, you have to distinguish between the classification of Rashi and Ascendant. The beginners usually use the term Sagittarius Rashi when they learn the characteristics. But it is supposed to be called as the house of Sagittarius. Well, I am going to explain the effects of the planets in the house of Sagittarius. The significant characteristics of the house of Sagittarius. Well, I am going to explain the effects of the planets in the house of Sagittarius the significant characteristics of the house of Sagittarius and the uniqueness of this house. The most significant feature about the house of Sagittarius is that this is the ninth house of the Kala Purusha, that is the natural zodiac. This is the first and foremost house of the natural benefic. Jupiter is 100% natural benefic and Jupiter is the planet that can turn the natal chart to a good one. I often mention a point that no matter which planet gets weakened, Jupiter and Venus should not be spoiled in the natal chart of a person. A person in whose natal chart Jupiter and Venus are strong can create opportunities in their life. This is the rule of astrology. Having said the above, the ninth house of the Kala Purusha Ninth house from Aries should be strong in one's natal chart and good planets should reside in this house in any situation. The house of Sagittarius is the ninth house in the natural zodiac that is Kala Purusha and the foremost Subhatva house of the Jupiter. Among the three categories of the houses such as mobile sign, fixed sign and dual sign that is Chararashi. Sira Rashi, Upaya Rashi, the house of Sagittarius is Upaya Rashi, that is dual house. Let me combine the Panjabuda Tattva of the houses with this concept. The mobile and fiery sign is Aries, the fixed and fiery sign is Leo, and finally, the Sagittarius is the house, which is a combination of Upaya Rashi and fiery sign that is dual fiery sign. I can list out the significant characteristics and uniqueness about the house of Sagittarius endlessly. The most significant feature about the house of Sagittarius is that no planet will get weakened in the house of Sagittarius. 
there is no planet that this house can make weak the reason is this is the foremost house of the subhatva the house of sagittarius is the foremost subhatva or benefic house among all the houses of subhatva or benefic let me explain the reason behind this concept among the three stages of the planets which are exaltation mool trikon and the own house all the planets attain the mool trikon status in their own houses except moon therefore the sagittarius and the pisces becomes the houses of subhatva and in comparison to all the other houses the house of sagittarius is the house which is more subhatva in the natural zodiac because this is the mool trikon house of the jupiter when a planet is exalted it scores 100 marks when a planet is in mool trikon status it scores 80 marks and when a planet is in its own house it scores 60 marks i have mentioned all these in my nichabanga raja yoga articles and videos having said the above the house of sagittarius is the foremost subhatva house in the natural zodiac since this is the mool trikon house of the jupiter among the most subhatva houses of the kala purusha the first and foremost subhatva house is sagittarius and the second subhatva house is libra since libra is the mool trikon house for venus the third subhatva house will be the pisces which is the own house of jupiter and fourth subhatva house of the natural zodiac will be taurus which will be the own house of venus you can also apply this concept in navamsha therefore the significant feature of the house of sagittarius is that no planet gets weakened in this house the planet only gains subhatva when it resides in the house of sagittarius this will not be an inimical house to any planet but the planet might have an inimical characteristic for some lagna or rashi this is the house where there is no enmity or debilitation this is the house of a natural benefic based on the concept of subhatva and pavatva the house of the sagittarius is a house where no planets gets debilitated even in the house of pisces the planet mercury gets debilitated only in sagittarius which is the ninth house of the kala purusha there is no debilitation or exaltation of any planet when a planet resides in the house of sagittarius the planet gains subhatva the planet that does not go along well with the jupiter are venus mercury and saturn indeed saturn is neutral to jupiter mercury is a planet which treats jupiter as its enemy venus treats the jupiter as its primary enemy i would rather say jupiter and venus are two great natural benefics that have contrasting characteristics this is what is said in, in the original dictums as well the reason behind this contrasting effect is that jupiter is to the left of the earth and to the right of the earth is venus in other words we can say that venus is within the inner path of the earth and jupiter is in the outer path of the earth jupiter and venus are the planets that are to the left of the earth and right of the earth this is the reason why these two natural benefics have the contrasting features therefore the house of sagittarius something unique among all the 12 houses in the natural zodiac the house of sagittarius is the ninth house in the kala purusha and no planet gets debilitated or weakened here this house is not an inimical house for venus it is just the inimical characteristics please try to understand this well The house of Sagittarius is not an inimical house for both Venus and Mercury rather this house has inimical character
However, these planets will get Subhatva when they reside in the house of Sagittarius. Imagine the house of Sagittarius as the house of a noble man while you make predictions. I insist all these points again and again because you have to understand the basic plot where the planets are going to reside. These learning will be helpful when you are making predictions. While the house of Scorpio house, Capricorn house and Aquarius house are the houses that signify a bar where the alcohol is consumed, the house of Sagittarius is like a temple. Imagine your mental status when you are inside a temple and when you are inside a bar. In order to predict the status or comfort level of a planet when it resides in Sagittarius, you have to imagine like to whatever extent a person is not good, though when he reaches the temple, the divinity, the sanctity of the temple influences a lot even a person who does not have good character. Likewise, when a planet resides in the house of Sagittarius, it is almost equal to such a mental status. Please try to make predictions based on the relationship between the Jupiter and the planet that resides in the Sagittarius. Therefore, the house of Sagittarius is unique among the 12 houses and the most Subhatva house among the 12 houses. This is not an inimical house to any planet nor this is a house of debilitation for any planet. This is the house where no planets gets debilitated. It is not an inimical house and this is the house of Subhatva. No matter which planet resides in the house of Sagittarius, it will attain Subhatva. Before checking the effects of the planets in the house of Sagittarius, let me teach you the characteristics of the house of Sagittarius. There are three stars that resides in the house of Sagittarius. Moolam, Pooradam and Uttradam. That is Moola, Purvashada, Uttrashada. There are four padas of Moola, four padas of Purvashada and the first pada of Uttrashada in the house of Sagittarius. Therefore, there are totally nine padas of three different nakshatras. This is the Upayarashi, that is dual sign. This house is a combination of Thirarashi and Chararashi, that is a blend of fixed sign and movable sign. It is both still and active like a pendulum. This is a fiery sign, masculine sign and an odd sign. This house will have the characteristics of the male sign, the fire and the odd sign. It is a combination of fiery nature with a dual sign. Let me explain this with an example. Aries is a chararashi and a fiery sign that is mobile and fiery sign. Therefore, Aries is like a forest fire. The forest fire is not useful to anybody. The Aries is a fiery mobile sign. In all my videos, I explain the characteristics of the house. If only you understand the fundamentals, that is the characteristics of the house, you can understand how a planet will deliver its effects when it resides in that particular house. Therefore, based on Panjabuddha Tattva, Sagittarius is a fiery sign. And among the categories of Chara, Thira, Upayarashi, that is mobile sign, fixed sign and dual sign, this is a Upayarashi. Among the signs that are classified as masculine and feminine, this is a masculine sign. Among the categories of odd and even sign, this is an odd sign. There is a significance when we say that the Sagittarius is the ninth house of the Kalapurusha. This is the house of luck among all the houses in the natural zodiac which is personified as a man that is Kala Purusha. A lot of Subhatva is filled in this house. The intricacy is that no planet gets spoiled when it resides in the house of Sagittarius. 
please try to understand this intricate concept of astrology now let me repeat the characteristics of the house the aries house is a combination of mobile rashi and fiery sign the house of aries represents the forest fire definitely the forest fire is of no help to anybody the forest fire indeed burns the house burns the forest which is really harmful to the habitants the fire or the anger of the aries will hurt others the fire in the aries is such a hasty one and spoils the people around it these persons are highly short tempered which will be of no use the fire in leo is a fixed one it is almost like a fire in the stove the forest fire which is signified by aries is of no use the fire which is fixed which is bounded in a place that is signified by the leo is of use it is useful to others the fire in the aries is a forest fire that only destroys what is around it whereas the fire that is bounded in a place that is signified by leo is of good use we use the fire that is bounded in all directions for the purpose of cooking therefore leo fire is useful to the people the fire in the house of leo is of fixed kind and is useful for cooking of course this is a source for all the applications the house of sagittarius is a combination of these two fires that is the fire signified by the aries and the fire signified by the leo it is like a holy lamp lit in the prayer room i forgot to say something about uh, the house of sagittarius the most important feature about the house of sagittarius is that this house signifies the preaching this is a house of preaching since the house lord itself is jupiter and those preachers will have this house to be strong please try to understand the complete characteristics of the house of sagittarius this is a masculine sign this is an odd sign upaya rashi that is dual sign and fiery sign the house of sagittarius is the ninth house of the kala purusha this is such a unique house which can embrace any planet that resides in the house even if there is an enemy that resides in the house of sagittarius this house will embrace that planet there is a famous line of the poem written by famous tamil poet mahakavi bharathiyar pagaivanukku arulvai nannenje which literally means let your heart be graceful even to an enemy having said this the sagittarius house will embrace the planets like venus and mercury which actually treats jupiter as an enemy the sagittarius house is such a noble house let us understand how a nadu of sagittarius ascendant or sagittarius rashi will behave definitely this person will reflect the character of jupiter they are able to tolerate and i would even call these people as innocent and they are gullible when jupiter is subhatva for the nadu of sagittarius or pisces ascendant or rashi they can easily give up anything which signifies that they are extremely flexible they can be easily cheated by others and they will not repent for such an event as well they can forgive the people who cheated them the nadu of sagittarius ascendant or pisces ascendant whose jupiter is not affected by any malefic can forgive the people who cheat them will leave it to god therefore the nadu of sagittarius ascendant or rashi will reflect these characteristics those who run the educational institutions the teachers the judges the spiritual people the sages the great gurus or the professions that the native of sagittarius ascendant will take they will do professions related to yellow color gold and jewelry as these are the fields that are signified by the house of sagittarius 
I have already mentioned that this house signifies preaching. Those who preach or teach others will have the connection to this house. I will even say that this house is related to the department of justice. If one has to become a judge or a lawyer or a teacher, then the second and tenth house should be connected with some Subhatva planet or Sukshma strength and when Jupiter is strong. I have already said that when the second and tenth house is connected and when Jupiter is connected to the second house, then they will definitely be in the teaching profession. Therefore, these sorts of professions can be decided by the house of Sagittarius. Among the two houses, this is one of the houses that helps the person to earn wealth and helps progeny. If you observe a person to be very rich, the houses of Jupiter should be Subhatva. Based on Bhava Subhatva, the house of Sagittarius delivers wealth and progeny. The house of Sagittarius will reflect the entire characteristics of Jupiter. This house represents slow and steadily moving Rashi, for example, elephant. This house is very big like an elephant. By all aspects, we can say that this house represents a bigger size of everything that is found in the universe. For example, Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Whatever living beings that lives on the earth that are the biggest are signified by Jupiter. The biggest animal that lives on the earth is the elephant. And the biggest one that lives in the sea is the blue whale. All these are signified by Jupiter. When this house is strong in a natal chart, then definitely the native will be very spiritual. All these will happen during the major planetary period or minor planetary period of Jupiter. The body part that Sagittarius signifies is the thigh. Please try to understand that I explain all these without any notes. I explain these points spontaneously. Therefore, I am sharing with others whatever comes to my mind at that moment. This is the reason why I sometimes miss one or two points when I explain. When I see a natal chart, I easily know which is the dominant part to check. When it is about teaching on a YouTube video, since I explain spontaneously, without having any preparation, it is quite normal to miss one or two points. So far, I have explained about nine houses. I am really not aware whether I have missed any points. Well, the house of Sagittarius represents the body part thighs. Among the day and night time, the house of Sagittarius represents the night time. This is a dark house and the house of Sagittarius signifies one more body part which is liver. It also represents the thighs which is above the knees. The knees are indeed signified by the Capricorn. The feet is signified by the house of Pisces. Each house represents a body part of the Kalapurusha. If you want to know about the strength of the thighs of a person, you have to check the ninth house to the ascendant and of course the ninth house in the Kala Purusha, that is the house of Sagittarius, which represents the body part thighs. Please make predictions based on the combination of different points. Therefore, if there is a wound in the thigh or if a person got hurt in the thigh, to check the status of the thigh, that is the strength of the body part, you have to definitely check the ninth house of the Kala Purusha, Sagittarius which indeed signifies the body part thigh and of course to make complete prediction we have to also check the ninth house to the ascendant if only you check the status of both the houses you will get a complete prediction and you will know about the strength or weakness of the thigh and to also know the strength of the liver definitely you have to check the ninth house Jupiter is a significator of diabetes. Indeed, Jupiter and Venus together signifies diabetes. 
because Jupiter is the planet that signifies the sweetness. Only the natural benefits can deliver a disease related to sweetness. Please don't think that these two planets are of different characteristics but cause the very same disease. There are certain intricacies behind this concept and I will explain such intricacies in another video. Therefore, Jupiter is a significator of the disease diabetes. Because Jupiter signifies the taste of sweetness and this house signifies the yellow color. I have already explained all the important characteristics of the house of Sagittarius. The most significant feature of this house is Subhatva. This is the predominant Subhatva house in the natural zodiac. Among all the houses, when a planet resides in the house of Sagittarius, it will have more Subhatva because this is the foremost significant house among all the 12 houses of the Kala Purusha. The only reason behind this concept is, this is the Mool Trikon house of the natural benefic Jupiter. In a nutshell, this house is the most significant Subhatva house among all the 12 houses of the Kala Purusha. Though a malefic resides in the house of Sagittarius, it becomes Subhatva to a certain extent and the malefic will be able to deliver benefits and of course you will have to assess the strength of the Pabhatva of the malefic planet. Please try to understand the basic characteristics of the house of Sagittarius. And now let us see how different planets will deliver its effects when it resides in such a Subhatva house, the house of Sagittarius. Let me now explain the effects of the sun in the house of Sagittarius. Well, which month it will be when sun resides in the house of Sagittarius? It will be the month of Margari that is Margashirsha, which is from mid-December to mid-January. Throughout the month of Margari, that is Margashirsha, the sun will reside in the house of Sagittarius. This is the house where the sun retains its light energy. Because the sun would have crossed the house of debilitation when it has reached the house where it regains its strength, the light energy. Because this is the Uttrayana where the earth turned towards the sun. In one of my past videos that I have published recently in English, we have mentioned the importance of Thai Pongal or Makar Sankranti which is celebrated when sun enters Capricorn. I have explained in the video that I have published in English the importance of Thai Pongal or Makar Sankranti and why do we celebrate Thai Pongal or Makar Sankranti with such josh and enthusiasm? Why are there such proverbs we use in Tamil such as Thai Pirandal Vari Pirakum, which literally means when Thai is born, that is when the month of Paush is born, there is a way. And can you imagine the reason why such a proverb that gives a lot of confidence is said in Tamil? The reason is that the earth is turning towards a season that is filled with light energy. The festival Thai Pongal is a proof that how the Tamilians or Indians approached astrology as a science approached every festival based on the concepts of astronomical signs. There is an astrological significance behind the festival celebrated in India. Every festival has a concept of science behind it. Having said this, when the sun resides in the house of Sagittarius, it will be in the fifth house from its own house Leo, according to Bhavad Bhavam logic. Whenever a planet resides in the quadrant house or the trine house from its own house, as per Bhavad Bhavam, the planet will represent its complete characteristics. When the sun resides in the house of Sagittarius, the sun will act like a natural benefic, though the sun is 50% malefic and 50% benefic. Sometimes Jupiter and the sun will be in Parivartan and now I will explain the significance of such a Parivartan 
that is the parivartan of the sun and jupiter when the sun and the jupiter exchange their houses that is when jupiter resides in leo and sun resides in the sagittarius the jupiter will aspect the sun and its own house sagittarius i used to reiterate a point that the sun and the house of leo should be subatva to become a politician or to work in the government sector or to get government jobs both the house of leo and sun should be subatva therefore this planetary position that is when the jupiter and sun or in parivartan and when jupiter aspects the sun in the sagittarius and thus making the sun subatva and the house of leo as well subatva professions related to the government will be achieved for those who were born in margari that is margashirsha in a specific criteria provided jupiter is in the leo the sun and the jupiter will be in parivartan the sun will be in the house of jupiter gaining subatva and jupiter will reside in the house of leo making the leo house subatva the lords of both the houses will be in good strength and attain subatva and it is of great benefit when jupiter aspects the house of sagittarius and also resides in the house of sun which is leo when you find this planetary position in the natal chart provided the 10th house is strong and the ascendant lord is also strong definitely the native will be working in the government sector as a higher rank official in some cases if the sagittarius house becomes the 12th house that is for native of capricorn ascendant then the native will be working abroad because jupiter in leo aspects the 8th house leo and the 12th house sagittarius whatever the situation is when the sun resides in the house of sagittarius it becomes very strong when sun resides in the house of sagittarius it is really good and definitely the native will enjoy benefits during the major planetary period of the sun let me explain about the characteristics which is contrary to the subatva if the sun is in conjunction with the malefic planet such as saturn or rahu in the house of sagittarius then what would happen the sun will attain the least pabatva when it is in conjunction with rahu and saturn in the house of sagittarius this is a significant difference or the uniqueness of the house of sagittarius when the sun resides even in conjunction with the malefics like saturn and rahu in the house of sagittarius it attains the least pabatva when sun is in conjunction with the malefics like saturn and rahu then it means it is getting beaten black and blue by two rowdies but there is one more point to consider that both these rowdies are beating a man inside the campus of a temple you can understand the level of the subatva if only you understand the characteristics of the residing houses the nature of the residing planets the significance of the residing planets and the house lord etc this is such a significant feature of the house of sagittarius imagine a situation where people fight in the campus of a temple it is not possible that a fight can boom into a worse one there is a difference between the actions that takes place in a particular venue for example there is a difference between a fight that takes place in a bar and a temple imagine two rowdies who are fighting or who are beating a person in a bar and in a temple definitely you can find the difference as i already mentioned before the house of capricorn or the house of scorpio represents a venue like a bar where the people consuming alcohol the place where drunkards gather imagine another situation where the sun resides in the house of aries or the house of scorpio and in addition to this it is also in conjunction with the malefics like saturn and rahu consequently the sun will attain more pabatva 
Therefore, we have to gauge the level of Pabadwa based on the situation like a person beaten up by two rowdies in the venue of a bar. When the same conjunction happens in Sagittarius, the sun attains the least Pabadwa. But when it happens in the house of Aries or in the house of Scorpio or in the house of Capricorn, the sun attains more Pabadwa. The characteristics of the house is very important to gauge the percentage of Pabatva or Subatva that the sun attains based on different houses. Therefore, the same scenario in different houses gives different results. This is very important. Sometimes the clients ask me that all the planets are strong but they lost their father when they were very young. I read such comments in my YouTube videos but I couldn't able to give the responses at that particular moment. There are thousands of comments for every video of mine and it is not possible for me to respond to all the comments. My situation is such a way that I'm not able to give response to even one comment of my YouTube videos. I cannot give responses to all the questions owing to my very hectic schedule. It is not possible for me to give responses to all the comments that I read. Sometimes I really regret because I was not able to respond to the questions of my subscribers who are not really aware of a few astrological concepts and I am in a situation that I couldn't give responses for such questions of my subscribers. When you understand the significance of the planet, and the house effect, characteristics of the house, you can easily predict when a planet attains what degree of Subhatva and Pabhatva. Therefore, in the houses of Aries or Scorpio or Capricorn or Aquarius, that is the houses ruled by the natural malefics such as Mars or Saturn, if there is a conjunction of Sun, Rahu and Saturn, it will give the Sun more Pabhatva. Especially when there is such a conjunction in the house of Capricorn and Aquarius, the sun becomes the most Pabhatva. However, when there is such a conjunction, that is, when the sun, Rahu and Saturn resides in the house of Sagittarius, then you have to imagine a situation like where a person is beaten up by two rowdies in the campus of a temple. In other houses, if the same conjunction happens, then you have to imagine that a person is beaten up by two rowdies in a bar where there is alcohol consumption. Therefore, when sun alone resides in the house of Sagittarius, it will give all the benefits depending on the ascendant. The difference between the mental status of a person who beats the people in a bar and in the premises of the temple makes all the difference. If you understand this nuance, it is very easy to make the predictions. The house of Sagittarius is almost like a temple. Even if sun is in conjunction with Saturn and Rahu in this house, the sun will attain only the least Pabatva level. Therefore, when sun resides in the house of Sagittarius and in conjunction with the worst malefics, the sun attains the least Pabatva consequently. In case if sun alone resides in the house of Sagittarius, then it is such a great benefit because as per Bhavad Bhavam, the sun will be in the fifth house to its own house Leo. The next planet that I am going to explain is the moon. The moon is also a friendly planet to Jupiter. Well, let me tell you some strange viewpoints about the moon in different states of the India. Some states of India, not in Tamil Nadu, they consider the Jupiter and the moon to be inimical planets. There are certain states of the country where astrology has not yet been perfectly perceived. In Andhra Pradesh state, the astrologers consider Jupiter and the moon as enemies and they also make predictions based on the concept that the Jupiter and moon as enemies. As a consequence, the predictions are not correct. When the moon resides in the house of Sagittarius, 
it is in the sixth house from its own house cancer though the moon is in the sixth house from its own house cancer the subhatva of jupiter will compensate that loss if the moon resides in the house of sagittarius the person will be an honest person provided jupiter is not affected astrology is a combination of rules and exceptions you can definitely make great predictions when you consider three factors such as bhavam that is the house the natural significator the house lord that is bhavadipadi nowadays i'm explaining only about the houses and then i'm also going to explain in the future the bhava munai that is the cusp of the bhava so far in the journey of publishing youtube videos i had explained about the planet subhatva and now i am explaining about the subhatva of the houses and in future i'm going to explain about the subhatva of the bhava munai that is the cusp of the house let me continue explaining about moon though the moon is in the 6th house to its own house it is in the house of a benefic in any situation please try to assess the strength of the moon based on its light energy if you understand you will get the predictions easily you will definitely explore another dimension of vedic astrology even if it is waning moon see if the moon has some light energy please check whether it has not lost its circular shape though the moon is waning moon check the light energy of the moon please make your perception about the moon based on the points i explained in any situation when moon resides in sagittarius it is auspicious however the moon should not be pabatva it should not be in conjunction with saturn or rahu it is considered to be very auspicious when moon is in conjunction with mars in the house of sagittarius mars is not an inimical planet at all the sun moon mars jupiter or the planets which have a mutual understanding it is considered to be auspicious when these planets reside in sagittarius whether they are in conjunction or residing alone it is beneficial when friends are in quadrant to each other or when enemies are in quadrant to each other it is considered to be auspicious this is a very valid rule as per the concept of bhavat bhavam astrology is nothing but a combination of different rules and exceptions having said all these when moon resides in sagittarius it is considered to be highly auspicious as per the light energy of the moon it delivers its effects if the moon that resides in sagittarius is a full moon that is in the month of ani mid june to mid july that is jeshta the moon will reside in the star of mula this planetary position is considered to be very auspicious when the moon has crossed saptami tidi it will head towards ashtami and also resides in the quadrant to the sun which is called as akta chandra even when akta chandra which is in hemisphere shape resides in the house of sagittarius it will deliver benefits when the moon is heading towards amavasya the closer to amavasya lesser the benefits the moon renders irrespective of the status of the moon when the moon resides in sagittarius it becomes subhatva when it is in conjunction with the sun mars or jupiter it delivers great benefits when it is in conjunction with venus it is good to a certain extent the moon can be in conjunction with lone mercury the moon should not be in conjunction with saturn or rahu please understand the conjunction of moon with saturn and rahu based on the example that i gave using uh, examples of rowdies beating a man in the campus of a temple and in a bar i repeat this often as i want to insist 
on the significant quality of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is such a Subhatva house. Please try to understand this. You can make complete predictions if only you understand the plot where the planets reside. Well, this is question time. If Arthachandra resides in Sagittarius, will it deliver benefits or not? Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.